Good day. Welcome to King William Rules Everything. Today I have a power cord for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, one of the things I, I kind of found um, strange with the Raspberry Pi, it didn't come with the uh, uh, on-off switch, which I guess when it's you're selling something that inexpensive, uh, you're going to cut a couple items out. And for the most part, you really don't need one. Uh, you figure most people, that whatever project they're going to work on, uh, they're going to just leave it on or turn it on when they need it and uh, shut it down. And you can do some soft buttons and stuff like that and do shutdowns. Yeah, you know, like a little contact switch sends out through, through the GPIO, GPIO pins, a little shutdown command and shut it down nice and gracefully. Uh, but what this does is it's just a little pigtail that it's got a male to female end. So you take your power supply and this has a little button on it and it plugs uh, into the Raspberry Pi and then you plug the other end into the power supply. So it just gives you kind of an off on off switch and usually on, on Linux and Unix and stuff like that uh, you just don't want to be shot. And even Windows you don't want to just power off because sometimes the file systems get corrupt. I've done actually quite a few times on this and I haven't had any issues but you know if it's something critical you, know, you probably don't want to be just powered off and on. But a lot of times what I do is I'm just going to use it for a little while and I don't need to be wasting power having on doing nothing all day long. So it's easier sometimes just to go through its menus and shut it down and just to turn it off. And I haven't had any issues, but like I said, you know, beware that, you know, you could uh, corrupt your SD card, uh, corrupt the file system and that, especially in Linux, sometimes it gets a little funky. But basically you plug it together, bam, plug this bit into the Mr. Power Port. Let's see, Mr. Power Port. Get in the hole. Okay. Helps if I do it right. And voila. And take Mr. Plug or Mr. On off switch. And away you go. And he boots up. So, like I said, it's kind of a nice convenience thing. And it's not that expensive. It's a couple dollars, but just basically a little pigtail and let you do some, uh, uh, you know, power off and on. It's nice and easy. I'm using it on a RetroPie because, like I said, most of the time uh, I don't have this on. I turn it on to play with it. Uh, this, is, this is actually version 4.2.1, so it's kind of the, the latest version as, as of this time. But uh, it, it works really well. I, I like it that it's convenient. Uh, Amazon, everywhere else sells, sells them, so that's kind of cool. The other neat thing, I, I, I've done a uh, kind of like a little brief review of this item here. Of this. It's HDMI to VGA adapter. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just using a VGA, uh, plain old computer monitor, instead of using an HDMI uh, monitor. And what's nice about this is it's a couple bucks, and lets me reuse this monitor. This is actually fairly, I don't know what size it is, 21, 24, whatever it is. But um, so instead of having me to go out and buy a new monitor, I can just reuse an old monitor. Especially if you're doing some projects, kind of cool. Uh, the only thing is, you know, you have to output sound, and this guy does have. Uh, it will shoot out the, uh, there's a little port here, a little uh, plug, so you can shoot out the, the audio and it separates it from the HDMI so you don't have to use your audio port. Or you can use your audio port on the, on the Raspberry Pi, or is it the little audio port, but uh, you know, either way, one way or the other is kind of cool. And, and it's, what's nice about this one has a, a USB plug, so you can shoot more power down if you want to do some, I guess it's, you know, you want to have a 50 foot VGA cable, something like that. So that's kind of cool. But the main thing was to just kind of give you a kind of see this little fellow here. And you now it's really cool. I uh, highly recommend this bad boy. So anyway, have a wonderful day.